In just three weeks' time, First Baptist Church Dallas will blast its way into church history. An implosion will take out four buildings to make way for the most expensive church expansion project in history. And it's all happening in the heart of downtown Dallas. Fox 4's Natalie Solis here now with more. Natalie. Well, Steve, the demolition crew says things are on track. They're going floor by floor, gutting the buildings and preparing to load them with dynamite. Before new buildings can go up, the old ones must come down. The frenzied work in downtown Dallas signals it's almost time. Well, actually, I grew up in First Baptist Church, uh, Dallas. I started coming here 55 years ago, and without doubt, this is the single largest change in the 143-year history of the church. A major change for the church and downtown. Four historic buildings between St. Paul Federal and Irve Streets will be imploded in three short weeks. Two others taken down piece by Peace. Unlike Texas Stadium with lots of open space, this implosion will take place surrounded by buildings and people. And that brings back memories of this. The cotton exchange and the huge cloud of dust and debris that billowed through the streets in 1994. Architects of the First Baptist implosion say 150 guys have been working every day for the last two months to try and prevent that. We're actually removing all of the uh, ceiling tiles, all the drywall. Uh, we're basically stripping the building out from the inside so it'll be a bare structure. It'll take an estimated 150 pounds of dynamite to bring the buildings down. They'll do it on a Saturday, blocking off six to seven square blocks. Uh, depends on the wind. If we happen to get rain that day, it's going to be great. Rain will dampen the dust, but it won't dampen the spirit of the project, which makes the church even more family friendly with a new preschool, children's space, worship center, a fountain, and an acre of green space for everyone to enjoy. Methods have to change if the church is going to remain relevant, and we're simply uh, doing something here that makes the church more relevant, more user friendly, by still keeping our message the same. The implosion will happen Saturday, October 30th at 8.15 a.m. Surrounding streets will open a short time after that. Construction will begin in January and the new campus will open Easter Sunday, 2013. Natalie Solis, Fox 4 News.